You need to go two passes wide here, Cronulla. Galloway lined up and hit by Heckenberg. Crouch is there too. Short side. A show of strength from the Sharks. They are repelled. Tackle number four. Running out of options. Poor ball from acting half. Well picked up by Sullivan. It has been lost. Clark is locking you hold here. And that is a don't golden go. opportunity for Cronulla that has been let go. Well, they didn't make the Parramatta defence work real hard there. It made it pretty Here easy for them. Flop. Three Second or four time. negative runs. Yes, Dave. Come here. Come here. Listen. Three and four times, your players are making the tackle, then they're jumping back on. That is not acceptable. They're not acceptable. Their hands and, knees, and you're not making it a dominant tackle for us. They're getting up and playing the ball. You, apparently, that's a dominant. Don't tackle. listen. Don't come here. Come here. Don't wave your hands to start with. Okay. Don't wave your hands. That's how I talk, Shane. That's right. how I talk. That's right. Listen to me. Listen to me now. Yeah. Okay. A dominant tackle in here. Okay. They've got to get off. Got to they're get off. No. They're getting on their hands and knees. They're getting on their hands and knees. Then that's fucking dominant tackle. Dave, come here. There you go. Peachy's got go. 10. Dave! Dave! Dave Peachy! Dave Peachy! Dave Peachy! David Peachy continues He's to walk up the He's tunnel. He has off. been sent! He's off. He's Peachy off. has been He's sent! Off. He's off. He's off. He's off. He's off. Doesn't talk to me like that. Let me tell you that Shane Hayne walked David Peachy 10 metres, then he said something to him. He shouldn't have been walked the first 10 metres anyway. Elocution lessons. For a bit of, no, you've got Shane to be able to explain to the player what is going on. It's just going to treat him like that. Now he's going to have some problems. Now, how can he penalise that? He hasn't even seen it. Go he is going to have dramas. Push it in there. Push it in there. The penalty count, 10-4 in favour of Parramatta. And they are against a 12-man Cronulla outfit for descent. David Peachy, their captain, will spend the remainder of this contest in the dressing sheds. Well, that was three penalties in a row against the Cronulla side for holding down in the play the ball. No doubt that Chris Anderson said after what happened in the first half, they were so dominant around that play the ball area, Parramatta. Chris Anderson would have said, we've got to slow them down. Crouch ducks under a high one. Did not connect if it had of. His head would have been at Wentworth, Phil. Another. Come in. Come in. Come in. Nutley's been given 10. The Sharks are down to 11 men. The Cronulla bench is becoming a very populated area and against 11 men, Jason Moody in his last appearance at Parramatta Stadium finds the try line to confirm a victory for the Eels. Phil Bailey out there, the senior man now, and the Eels are running wide. This is Ashley Graham, they won't catch him, they won't stop him, and it is all too easy for the home side. Two tries in three minutes, and it is only going to get worse for the Sharks. Well, they had problems with 13 men on the field down their right-hand side, but with 11 men, it's no contest. Parramatta sticking to their plan, tacking, attacking the right-hand side. Phil Bailey, Jared Anderson, just outnumbered. Great ball by Lee Hopkins. Adam Dykes gets it out to Ashley Graham, and there's just not enough Cronulla players on the field. There's no cover there. We'll be off for MRI scans, one would suggest, first thing Monday morning. A very cautious, long-serving Dr. Johnson overlooking that. We've gone high. Heckenberg continues oh, yeah. on. 14. 14. There you go. There was here. There was here. Two Sharks sent from the field in the matter of minutes. They are now down to just 10. This is going to border on a game of Oztag. Well, here's the tackle oh. here. He has got him high. 
He hasn't missed. He hasn't missed, but he's kept on running. This is like a game of uh, soccer. I wonder how fast the scoreboard can tick over here now, Greg, because if I was Parramatta, and I would be very excited if I was a forward, because I think I'd be coming up with a try sometime here tonight. Well, you think at every opportunity, Parramatta will be throwing it wide. Parramatta went into the game on minus 66, four and against. That is certainly going to improve appreciably. This is Morris through the centre of the ruck. Morris to the line. He won't make it, but Jamie Lyon will. Lyon collects a double. And there is nothing that this 10-man Sharks outfit can do. Well, you can only play what's in front of you. We could say it was a great try, but there's only 10 Sharks players out there. John Morris getting the ball, beating a couple of Sharks defenders. And a terrific ball inside to Jamie Lyon, who again showed great speed to get the ball into the in-goal area. Steve Crouch started it off with a good offload. Bit of second phase play from the Eels. And Jamie Lyon finishing it off. <laughs> they haven't had the ball yet. All they do is kill it, just getting tackling practice. High Marsh. Lyon straight through. Jamie Lyon is en route to the line. And that is a hat-trick for the boy from Rewa. The nightmare continues. Well, I'll tell you what the referee should do. He should don't even worry about going for the kickoff. Just stay down the other end, underneath the goalpost. Let them kick off themselves and then just award the try. Yeah, Nathan Hindmarsh jumps out of dummy half. They play the short side because there's no Sharks players anywhere. Jamie Lyon, too much speed, even for Matt Reek. Danny Nutley returns. <laughs> All too easy from Adam Dykes. And there is Danny Nutley on the sideline. A small crowd here at Parramatta Stadium to witness what has been a night that will be talked about long into the week. Danny Nutley returns to the field of play, so the Sharks are back to 13. Nathan Kalis, the front rower, is going to run 55 metres. Now that is special. Call for the oxygen bag. Call for the record books. Is that the longest front rowers try of all time? Well, one of the Cronulla players went up to absolutely smash Nathan, Nathan Kalis. And he's come off second best. He's got a big smile on his face. And he's back for game two. Just watch this. They sprint up out of the light. Watch this. Puts up the right arm. Misses badly. I think Paul Gallon is the man that came up with the missed tackle. Then he races away. Now 45 to 50 metres. Very, very happy. And just watch John Morris here do a little bit of a slide there to say, well done. You know, it's all good fun, isn't it? All good fun for the Parramatta Eels. Look. Just on the hour mark of this contest, it could be a mercy finish. There's no fullback at home, and that perfectly suits Lee Hopkins. He is in for the Eels 10th of the night. Well, the Sharks haven't had the ball. Will there be a set of six tackles where Parramatta don't come up with a try? Playing with no fullback. Adam Dykes just put a little one over the top. Lee Hopkins was standing there waiting for it virtually. And that puts them over the 50 mark. Dykes didn't even go to the fence, just chipped knowing that no one was going to be back there. Well, with 20 minutes to go here, oh. Greg, you could say that they could easily put on another 20 points very, very easily. As Dykes now looks to convert. And does. And you would almost pull out the mercy ruling. The Sharks with 11 men. A long ball finds Peterson. There is no one there again. The Sharks in cover. Inside man is Graham. They will not match him for pace. We are headed towards 60 and headed there in a rush. Once again, down this left-hand side, they just found numbers which Cronulla certainly don't have. A big, long pass. Watch this pass here. Bang, up she goes. 
Oh, that was very close to being fought. Phil Bailey looks back at the referee, says, mate, you're kidding, have a look at that one there. And he just <laughs> rolls around. Well, you know what, Phil, ba Phil Bailey was looking across to see where his winger was. Nathan Kalis gets up with a smile. Crouch. And you can understand the frustration levels of the Sharks as Webster absolutely cuts them to pieces. This is Morris, the inside man is Lyon. Jamie Lyon is in for number four for the evening. The scoreline blown completely out and one cannot help but feel a tad sorry for the Sharks. They competed in the opening half hour of this contest. Quite simply, they have not allowed to be a they have not allowed to be able to compete in the second half. And John Morris backing up beautifully of Webster. Look at this ball here, timed perfectly. And Jared Anderson had to make one decision, the one man carrying the ball, he had to take it. And then Lyon scooted away for around about 30 odd metres once again and scores another Parramatta try. Numbers to the right hand side. Slowing the ruck down appreciably are the Sharks. Poor pass from Webster. Nice little chip ahead from the Eels and Webster will collect. And the Eels, that is a club record. The difference after 64 in the one, most one-sided contest of the season. That's a poor pass out of the dummy half area. Once again, no one at home. Webster throws a shot along the ground, kick through. Then he bats it up, the number 18. You see him on the left-hand side of the screen. Does a magnificent job in getting to the ball right in the nick of time. Turned through there by Johnny Morris. He got collected. Webster, good try. James Webster, the boy from St. Pat's Dundas. And we have more dramas with Shane Hayne and the Cronulla side. About it, mate. The first thing is, he's not actually getting 10, he's getting about 2. The second thing is, he's giving you a golf ball for no reason behind the trial, mate. No, okay. no okay. reason. Matthew, 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 that's okay. Okay, I'm letting a little bit go, that's right. Let's go. Let's get on it. Letting a little bit go. Understatement of the year. Award, Shane Hayne. What about the touch? He dobbing on him. You wouldn't have wanted to sit next to him at school. We're out to 70. The difference, 66. This is a bizarre game. I, I, you made reference to the Parramatta game last year or the year before where Bill Harrigan sent four Parramatta players to the sim, but I've never seen anything like this. Here we go again. Jamie Lyon. This is number five. He too equals a club record. It is all Jamie Lyons. Since 1947, that is the most tries in one match by any Parramatta player. The record is all Jamie Lyons. Oh, great work, Jamie Lyons. He's had a tremendous game here tonight. As Greg Alexander said, he's played what's been in front of him. Young Beatty gives chase there to number 10 jersey. Reed comes flying in down on the left hand side. He had no chance of picking him up. He plants a ball down, and that's number five. It doesn't matter how many players you've got in front of you. It's a terrific effort to score five tries. Jamie Lyon in the NRL. Again, I'll say this is a bizarre game, but five tries is five tries. On eight occasions, four tries has been scored as recently with Matt Peterson against South Sydney earlier this year. Nathan Hindmarsh with a kick at goal. Novelty night for the Eels, if you like. Spends absolutely no time setting it up. Actually struck it well as the rain intensifies here at Parramatta Stadium. And that will be the end of the section. As far as this round 24 clash goes, Jamie Lyon has set a club record with five tries. This Parramatta side has set a club record with their biggest ever win. And that man, Shane Hayne, has made this a night of controversy.